I made AI ads in WAN 2.5 and VO3 using the exact same JSON prompts and, whew, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I have no clue if they're good or just weird. So let's watch them together and rate them. By the end, you'll be the judge. Which ones are masterpieces? Which ones are a total mess? Let's figure this out. Quick thing before we jump in. Here's what I actually send to the AI for these ads. This is called a JSON prompt. I know it looks techy at first, but it's really just my wish list for each scene. First, I set the camera, where it is, the lens, if it's moving or not. Second is the subject, what we're focusing on. Then comes the real magic, the action, where I jot down what happens step by step, almost like a little timeline. I add in mood stuff, lighting, color, what the vibe should be. And finally, even the sound, what you'd hear, or music. That's it. For this sneaker ad, I prompted both AIs to start with a super close-up on a futuristic sneaker, floating in a neon-lit alley at night. The camera does a quick orbit, then dives in. I detailed the action sequence. The sneaker first bursts into holographic wings and jewel fragments. These then morph into a cascade of animated graffiti, glowing rain, and molten gold. Finally, all the pieces slam back together landing hard enough to crack the pavement as a glowing logo rises in a superhero pose. For the look, I specified a high-tech cyberpunk vibe, a neon palette of deep blue, green, and magenta, with soft film grain and wet, reflective surfaces. I fed the exact same prompt to both WAN 2.5 and VO3, only remapping the timing to fit their 8-second limits. For the next test, I prompted both AIs with a concept for the Apple Vision Pro. The scene opens on a clean close-up of the headset on a minimal stand, framed by soft glass reflections and light rays. The action begins as the headset deconstructs into floating lens fragments, with each piece revealing a tiny animated dream world inside, dancers, neon plants, or abstract art. From there, the fragments swirl into a glowing galaxy vortex, finally coalescing into a single crystalline Apple logo. All right, check this out for the Maserati ad. We're underwater. There's a glowing trident on a rock. That trident twists and morphs into the front of an MC-20, while the rest of the car assembles from these slick, glowing fragments. Then, it explodes out of the water. Full supercar mode. Here I told the AI, start with a glowing Tesla crate in the middle, let it open up and build the Cybertruck piece by piece. Add some glass showroom stuff falling into place. Go heavy on those robot assembly sounds. Give it all clean blue and silver lighting, but don't use music. If you want to see all the exact prompts, the full Jasons I gave both AIs, they're down in the video description. Honestly, they work way better as text than trying to read them off the screen. Now for this chaos car ad, here's what I actually told the AI. Split my neon car in half, let each side race wild through the city, mash them together as a rocket, then morph into a sparkling city logo. All neon, all speed, with punchy techie sound effects and, trust me, just eight seconds to pull it off.
For this last ad, I just told the AI, make the cereal float up in slow motion, spin around and spell out some text, then drop into a bowl for a big milk splash with morning sunlight everywhere. Super classic breakfast vibes. That's how I prompted it. And here's what came out. For all the WAN 2.5 ads, I was actually using Higgsfield. What's wild is that their Enhance feature automatically turns any idea into JSON. Here, let me show you. I'll just type in a simple prompt. Set the duration and resolution. And when I hit Generate, as you can see, it spits out this perfectly structured JSON. That's exactly why I built the VO3 prompts the same way, just tweaked for that 8 second timeline. So my quick take, WAN 2.5 is the wild one, full of surprises. VO3 is the polished one, with smoother motion. But are these ads good? I honestly have no idea. So now it's your turn. Watch them side by side and tell me in the comments. Who won? And what am I doing wrong in my prompts? Seriously, teach me your ways. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, friends. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.